today we um, were really pleased to see one of the companies competing for an investment from our partner, STG Ventures, win the full $250,000 investment in their startup companies. Now on to the main event. I'm Bruce Caldwell, the founder and CEO of Three Bar Biologics. I'm really excited to be here. I am excited to let you know about Boost and how we're using technology to discover microbial products for food and agriculture. We believe that we today can produce new supplies of fresh water for agriculture at price points that are lower than new dams. My name is Ingrid. I'm the CEO at NIO Technology. We are the world leader when it comes to autonomous agrobots. We are going to talk to you today about a tool that's going to help growers be able to make better decisions about how you grow your crops. When we look at these companies, we tend to judge them on several different factors. One, the quality of the team, that's very important to us. Two is, are they solving a real problem in the field? Third, we're trying to understand, are they going after a market that's big? And then lastly, I'd say, it's just that dynamic of the entrepreneur themselves and do we feel a connection? Do we feel like we could work with them? That to us is very important as well. How far along are you in your testing of this? They're in various stages of development. Sometimes it's early research, but sometimes it's an existing market product with a known problem that we're solving. Can you speak a little bit more around um, where you are in terms of commercial viability? The first product is going to be coming to market late next year, maybe very, very early in 2023. Are you going to be re-pumping the brine back into the ground, and are you going to be selecting certain levels to do that? We're going to zero the brine, which means solids coming out. One of our lessons learned is promises made, promises kept, and as long as you are honest with growers, you still have a chance. What are some of the things you'd share with growers that are you're working on right now? We keep investing a lot in um, R&D um, just to make sure we can tailor our robots to the growers' needs. Can you talk a little bit about um, any validation you have for the algorithms that you're using? We have had really great support from the Swiss government um, to be able to work with some leading academic and uh, agronomic research agencies in Switzerland. Voting out there is closed, and right now the Ag Sharks are going to go off to a remote location, deliberate for 15 minutes or so. Okay, sharks, what would you like to do? We do think your technology has the ability to unlock the biologic space, and that's exciting. And so with that, we'd like to offer $250,000 um, investment. S2G is one of the, uh, you know, the marquee names in the, in the investment space for ag tech, so I think we would, we would love the opportunity to, to work with you guys. That's great. Stuart, I think we have a deal. All right. <laughs> to be chosen uh, by a, a venture group like S2G, uh, to be the winner of, of a competition like this is obviously, uh, it's a great honor, and we see it as a validation of the work that we're doing.